So at this point, uh, there's an argument among the community if, we're, if we've snapped the bear market, have we entered the bull market? Nobody's extremely certain of that at the moment. Uh, what I can tell you is that um, last Tuesday's surge was indeed significant uh, and we're now testing a new resistance line exactly at 5,350. If we zoom out on the chart, uh, we can see now um, exactly the significance of this level, 5,350, um, and it has acted as a support mostly throughout uh, 2018. And notice that we are, tr we are trading well above the 200 day moving average. This was an indicator that we were watching very closely uh, as kind of sign whether or not we're in a bull or a bear market. So the fact that we're trading above it and have sustained above it the last, the last week is pretty significant. In our last video, we spoke about this long-term bearish trend line, which had been snapped by then. Um, now, of course, trend lines are drawn differently by different charters, so they're very subjective. So some people might be drawing it like this, some people might be drawing it like this, in which case you would see that it was broken even before. Um, some people might be drawing it even like this uh, and saying that it's, still, that it's still not broken just yet. Um, at this point, for the most part, almost any way that you cut it, uh, the bearish trend line uh, has been snapped. Obviously, we couldn't say that we're in a bull market just yet. Uh, we've seen overall one surge, which was last Tuesday, and I would be very hesitant to say that we're in a bull market just based on one day's worth of trading. A bull market is generally defined as um, a market that, that is going up continuously and steadily and that we can expect to continue. Now, there's still a lot of bears out there. There's still a lot of people who think uh, that we could be going lower, uh, but the price action uh, over the last week has been incredibly positive. Uh, and for me, it does look like we're entering toward a bull market. At this point, any movement upward, especially if we uh, go beyond that 5,350 level, um, I think that also we want to we want to watch around six and a half, which was exactly where it was trading. Uh, seven and a half. If we go up with seven and a half, that means that basically we're into new territory, and we can start looking at this as a positive trend. Last Tuesday, uh, we did see trading volumes that have been reported across global exchanges spike to an all-time high of eighty-eight billion dollars. Um, the thing is that we need to take this figure with a grain of salt. The Bitwise report um, that we saw basically revolutionized the entire trading, uh, the entire crypto industry said that these numbers uh, for the most part are false. So we don't really know, we can't really take that as an indication of much. Um, on the other hand, we have uh, Masari Crypto uh, who has started to report the real 10 trading volume. So those are from the Bitwise report. They identified that there were 10 exchanges that are reporting clean and true volumes. Uh, and this number up is up around $700 million uh, today, um, which is more than double what it's been tracking over the last few weeks. So we don't have a visual representation of that, uh, but we can see that volumes have come down from where they were last Tuesday. This number was around 1.3 billion or so, um, but they're still elevated at the moment, so traders are very much still excited. If you're trading crypto and want to do it more efficiently, here's some tips for you from our partner, Trade Santa. Tip number four, use technical indicators. To increase the chances of making trading become more profitable, try using and combining different technical indicators to determine the best entry points. Trade Santa allows you to use its day filter, volume filter, and Bollinger signal. Using the day filter, the crypto bot will open the deal only if the day is expected to be potentially profitable, based on the candle indicator of the previous day. The volume filter will open the new deal if the trading volume of a pair over the past 24 hours is considered sufficient. And finally, its Bollinger signal will analyze the volatility to make sure your bot finds an optimal entry point for trade. Excited? Trade Santa allows you to seamlessly create trading bots to trade multiple pairs on multiple exchanges. Try using the above indicators to trade smart. Check it out. The link is in the description below. Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe, and hodl.